Hi guys, welcome to this week's Hidden Treasures. As usual, I always like to start by thanking you all for watching our videos, hitting the like button, and of course hitting the subscribe if you haven't done so already. Now's your chance because a big subscribe button will pop up and a big notification bell. Actually, you can't press these, but you can press the ones below. So do that and that will be most appreciated. So this week I'm gonna talk about a plot and it's one of my favorite plots in mentalism. Those of you that have uh, watched me before on videos or the lives, I always refer to this plot. It is one of my favorites. It's something that I have investigated. Now, usually when we get into magic, we find a trick that we like and we do that trick. Sometimes you find a plot that you like and you investigate that plot and you look at the different alternatives there are trying to find the one that best suits you. Now, with this plot, the great thing is they can all suit you. But I'm going to explain uh, a bit more about it. So the plot I'm talking about is a book test. Now, I'm a great lover of book tests. I have a few different book tests and I will use them in conjunction with each other. Now, there's a few things that I check for when I go for a book test and I'll explain my do's and don'ts. They won't necessarily be yours. You have to make your own decision up, but I'll explain my do's and don'ts and what I look for and what I try and avoid in a book test. And I'm also gonna talk to you about a very, very simple book test that anyone can pick up and learn to do in 10 minutes. So why do I like book tests? Now, I first saw a book test around about, I would say, 25 to 30 years ago, someone performed a book test on me and it blew my mind. It was the first time I ever knew that book tests actually existed. And it really did blow my mind. It felt like pure mind reading. And the thing is with a book test, unless you actually perform one or have it done on you without knowing there is such a thing as a book test, you will never really appreciate the power that a book test has. Now, I've always said this, having a magic shop, I can see what items uh, are popular items and what items are not so popular. And I'll be honest with you, online book tests are not an easy sell because people just brush past the book test. If they don't understand what a book test is or the impact of a book test, they just seem to, to go past it and, and just look for the latest card trick or coin trick or peak wallet or something like that, something they understand. Now, whenever I'm at a convention, if I demonstrate a book test, I get a guaranteed sale. And for why? Because it is so powerful. And there's never been a better time to do book tests because nowadays everyone uses passwords for absolutely everything. So that has become my presentation for selecting a word from a book. Now, I actually did a book test comparison on a very old blog with Alex Sam. You can still find it. And uh, in fact, I'll put a link up to it as well. So you can find that blog and it, it talks about different book tests and, and what they do. And I demonstrate a few different book tests. Now the presentation I created when I perform a book test now is a presentation about passwords. I say that uh, the best way we all use passwords for absolutely everything, the safest and most secure way to get a password is to pick up a random book, open a book to any page and pick a word. Now you can use that presentation for any book test you like. In fact, after watching our blog, Bill Abbott got in contact and asked if he could indeed use my presentation. So I, I said yes, and anyone's welcome to use it, but it makes perfect sense. Because a lot of the questions I get asked by magicians is why get someone to pick a word from a book? Firstly, I don't think you need to justify it. But now we've got this password situation, I think it makes perfect sense. We're gonna pick a word. It, obviously, if you were to think of a word that um, is related to you in some way, maybe I could find it out by finding your Facebook page or speaking to one of your friends. So the most secure way to pick a password is to grab a random book, 
open it to any page and pick a random word. That way the word is not connected to you in any way, shape or form and obviously it will be impossible to decipher unless of course someone could actually tap into your brain and actually hack the world's most complicated computer, your brain. And that's what I'm going to attempt to do for you now. And then you go into your presentation. The other thing that it lends itself very, very well to is if you're using a long word principle type book test, um, then it makes perfect sense because you just throw in the line. As with all passwords, make your word at least seven letters long. So that way you're, you're already getting past that little uh, hurdle that sometimes appears with certain book tests. Now the book test I'm gonna to talk to you about today is a book test that you can literally pick up and do in 10 minutes. It's super simple. You most probably all, well you do, you will know as soon as you watch the instructions, you'll know exactly what's going on. It is so easy, yet it's very deceptive and it gives the impression of any word, any page without having to do a lot of memorization. So the book test I'm gonna to talk to you about today is the Oasis book test. Now on that comparison blog, I've done a performance of this book test, which I'm gonna play for you right now. So let me show you uh, the effect. Dave, we've got uh, roughly, I think there's 320 pages in there. So uh, the first 10 pages are usually made up of ind indexes and so forth. So give me any number between, let's say, 10 and 300. 209. 209, yeah. Okay, turn to page 209, um, put your finger on the top line and go to the very last word. Okay, there we are. Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay, so you, uh, is this a word that you could actually visualize? Is this an, a thing or an object, or is it just a word like if, and, or, but? No, no I can visualize it, yeah. You can, okay, brilliant. Uh, keep the book on that page, but I want you to, to visualize the image in your mind. Try and transmit it to me. Um, first of all, we're gonna go for whether this item is a natural object, uh, whether it's a living object like a, a plant or an animal or a person, or whether it's a man-made object, okay? Okay. So try and send that to me now, whether it's man-made or living. Right. Okay, this is a living object. Yeah. Um, are, are you picturing it now? Yeah. Is that a chicken or a hen? <laughs> it is a hen, yeah. It is, okay. Um, do me a favor, are you still on that page? I am, yeah. Stick your finger somewhere in the middle of the page. Okay. Is there a word around your finger that if I was to ask you to show the book to someone, it would stand out, maybe starting with a capital letter or something like that? Yeah, I've got one. There is, okay. Um, you can close the book. So now let's think about this. You've chose any page in the book, mm. and you've now stuck your finger on a page, mm. any page, Yeah. and you're thinking of any word. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So realistically speaking, there's 300 pages, maybe 200 words a page, so you could have chose one of thousands and thousands of words yeah okay so i want you in your mind to, to picture this word okay and i want you to see all the letters in this word okay okay there's uh there's an n yep actually is that an m or two n's <laughs> two n's <laughs> two n's yeah and it starts with a p it does is the word thing of a penny? It is indeed. Yeah, perfect. It's great. That was the performance. And like I said, that was taken from the comparison blog and you can find that by typing in Alexam uh, Magic. Oh, actually I'll put the link below so you'll be able to find it. Um, but this book is, uh, this book test is amazing and amazingly simple. I couldn't believe how simple it was when Clint showed me how it worked. And this is something that honestly you could learn to do in 10 minutes. Just to give you uh, an outline of it, there are uh, over 300 pages in this book. Your spectator can select any page, absolutely any page, and you can get them to think of a word from the top line, the bottom line, or even somewhere in the center of the page. And you'll be able to instantly know what that word is with absolutely no 
phishing. Not only can you use it for just turn to any page and, and think of the word type presentation, but if you're doing like a one ahead routine, this is perfect. And the way I usually do it is to hand the book to someone and say, how many pages in there? Uh, 300. Okay, so let's say uh, you could pick a page anywhere from, let's say 10, because the first 10 pages are usually the index and, and bits like that, up to, let's say 295. In fact, uh, choose someone in the audience. Madam, could you just shout out a number anywhere from 10 to 295? 168, perfect, turn to 168 for me. Now we know it's a completely random page and you're gonna pick a random word. Okay, so that way I've got two people involved. But as soon as we've got the page number, even before they look it up, so I might say, just please remember that, 168, uh, you could write it down somewhere if, in case you would forget. Um, but now I know my one ahead answer, so I can already do that. And then it looks like I can write my third prediction and say for the first time, what was the page, one, 169? Oh, 168, okay, turn to 168, have a look at the word. So now I've sort of written my prediction before they've even looked at the word. And you haven't got that weird thing of think of any country, think of any celebrity, now pick a card. You know, it, this is, it, it just makes more sense. It seems more random. But book tests for me, I feel are a very strong part, whether you're a magician, whether you're a mentalist. Now I'm gonna tell you the things I look for in book tests. The one thing I look for in book tests, and the main thing is simplicity, because there are a lot of book tests out there that do hundreds or claim to do hundreds of different things. And some of them do, and they do them very well. My big issue with them is there's so much memory work, mathematics, and uh, there's just so much to do. My big problem with a book test is I do not perform a book test on a daily basis. So what I don't want to do is have some complicated mathematics in my mind, um, some complicated coding that I've got to learn that I've just got to keep refreshing my mind with on a daily or weekly basis on the off chance that I am going to perform that book test. I would rather have a book test that I can put down and if I want to do it in six months time, I can pick it up and literally just by scanning the book for, for a second or two, just remind myself of method. Now, my go-to book tests in my collection, the ones that I use regularly are the mother of all book tests, all about Eve, ultimate flashback, and of course, the Oasis. Now, the Oasis is a great starting point not only is it very, very reasonably priced, and in fact, I've got a great deal running for the next few days, and if you wanna take advantage of it, click that link now, because you are gonna save big bucks. Um, not only is this very, very reasonably priced, but I, as I said at the beginning, you will be performing this book test within 10 minutes. Now, some of the other book tests do take a lot longer because there's a lot more memory work um, or there's a lot more going on, but this is, this is the typical KISS effect. Keep it simple, stupid. That's what KISS stands for. Keep it simple, stupid. Um, and that's what this effect is. It's one of those things that it's a book test in its basic form and it's just as deceptive as any other book test out there yet you could learn it in 10 minutes. The other thing I really like about this is every word involved is a word that they can actually uh, imagine or picture in their mind. I would say if you wanna get into a book test, and I know a lot of you do, and I get asked these questions all the time, I would say start with something tried and tested. I don't think you should do more than one or two tricks with a book test anyway, because then it just starts pointing at the book being the prop as such. I think just get them to think of a word from the book, they close the book, they put the book down, and now you're reading their mind. So for that, I wouldn't go and spend hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pounds on these all singing, all dancing book tests. They're not for me, they may be for you, they're not for me. Um, 
I will just go for something that's gonna do the job I want it to do and do it very, very well. Now, if you are lucky enough to be able to get hold of a copy of Ultimate Flashback, we get them in stock once in a while. Um, you will find that you get a selection of books in there and you can do some beautiful little things with Ultimate Flashback. That is a set of books that I use and continue to use for this uh, to this day. And I've used those for around about 15 years or so. Very, very good book test. Um, but like I said, I've got a collection and if I do any sort of stand up, I don't do them as much now. But if I, when I did do them, I'd have a little pile of books and they could come up and grab a book, depending what book they grab will determine what book test I went to. And if I wanted to do one of my set pieces, I would just grab the books I need and start handing them out. So that's really it for this week's Hidden Treasures. I wanted to speak to you about a book test because I do get a lot of questions asked about it. And um, Oasis Book Test does full, fall into the Hidden Treasures category because it is something we released around about six, seven years ago. So it is quite an old effect now. Um, and I would say it's a good book test for the pro, but especially for someone that wants to get into it. And please, please, please do not underestimate the power a book test has on a lay spectator. Until you do it, you will not know how much power these have. So before I go, please don't forget to leave a comment below. I really enjoy reading those and um, getting your feedback on the show. And if you haven't done so already, please remember to like this video and hit that subscribe and notification bell so you're kept informed every time a video goes live. So until next time on Hidden Treasures, thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.